street food. Greetings, street foodies. If you've ever taught at a Chinese university, then you know that part of the deal is they're going to take you out every once in a while for a nice time. It's pretty cool. I mean, they want to bless you. The timing is usually not convenient, and sometimes the activities they choose are more enthralling than others. The point is, you're building relationship, which is a big deal over here. It's not optional. It is mandatory corporate fun. Last year, our school took us to the village of Lintong to visit the Huaqing pools. Lintong is famous for a number of reasons, which I'll go into in another episode. Today, we're just going to talk about the pools. It's famous for, guess what, a tragic love story. Surprise, surprise. Where are we at right now, Nate? We have apple pool. Which is a prostitute's bathing ground. It's that age-old story of the head honcho with many courtesans, but one of them catches his eye more than the others. I don't know, maybe because she's really tall and she walked around half naked all the time. Her name was Lady Yang. She's famous for being beautifully overweight. So he fools around on her, she gets jealous, then he builds her the pools so they have a place where they can just go basically paint all day and, you know, eat fruits and just love each other and stuff. But he spends all his time doing that and not taking care of the country. So his officials come in and say, look, if you don't get back to work, we're staging a revolt in this mother. So Lady Yang has to get put to death. It's a typical Chinese love story. The pools are pretty awesome. There's a hot springs, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, the, the, ooh, it's actually really warm, it's nice. And every famous person that's ever been there is noted. In the late summer, Hua Qing puts on a pretty awesome show. Song of Everlasting Sorrow. It tells the story of the Emperor and Lady Yang with music and dancing and lights projected on water. It's, it's a pretty good show. We had a hilarious tour guide cracking jokes the whole way on the bus ride there and back, and we had a pretty awesome meal. But what this area is known for at this time of year is one of Lady Yang herself's favorite snacks. Talking about pomegranate. What's up, health? Yeah, Kabi's like, stay in the car because they love American dollars. How about Canadian dollars? Yeah, yeah nice. Uh, what about you? Uh, thank you. Maybe I just didn't know how to eat pomegranate before because I would just scoop it out and chomp down on the kernels and seeds and everything, but they're actually kind of bitter. My Chinese friends, who are experts at the consumption of seeds, would pop a few kernels in their mouth and just a little bit and then they would just spit out the seeds. Personally, I'm still working on my form, but I am a big fan of the pomegranate. So, Lady Yang and the Emperor planted pomegranate trees all around their honeymoon palace. You know why? Seeds and upset. Because lots they want to have lots of children. Unfortunately, she had no children and she hung herself when she was 30. Probably in one of those trees. If you ever get the chance to go to Lin Tong, you should check out the Hua Qing pools. They're pretty cool. That's it, guys. Season 5 is over. And we had some good times. <laughs> We met some friends, we ate some good things, we ate some straight up nasty things. For the next few months I'm going to be putting most of my energy into streetfoodinternational.com trying to build that up. If you like my show, please check out the website, please subscribe, share it with your friends. Street food. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and you can do that at the website right here. Uh, I do have plans for season 6, but in the off season, when you need to get your street snack on, check out streetfoodinternational.com. Until next season, keep eating on the street and watching out for the parasite.